Hello students, how are you? Today we will do some questions from your mathematics book given at page number 95. So now you have known about the currency notes and today we will do addition and subtraction of currency notes. Till now you have learned about currency notes and we know that in our daily life we need money to buy different things and when we use money Addition and subtraction of money is simple thing which we do every day. Let us find the value of these currency notes. So count with me rupees 20, then a 10 rupee note that is rupees 30, one more 10 rupee notes rupees 40, a 5 rupees notes that is rupees 45 and a 2 rupee note that is rupees 47. So the value of these currency notes is rupees 47. So when we will write it on paper, we will write it in this manner. And whenever we write Indian currency, we put the sign of Indian currency in front of the number that is rupees. So this is the sign which we put in front of a Indian currency. Now let us find the value of these currency notes. So this is a 500 rupee note, so 500, then a 100 rupee note that is 600, then a 50 rupees note that is 650, a 10 rupee note that is 660 and a 1 rupee note that is 661. So the value of currency notes is rupees 661. So to write it on the paper or notebook, we will write it in this manner. Yesterday, I went to market and bought a pen, pencil and a notebook. So the cost of pen was rupees 20, pencil was of rupees 4 and notebook was of rupees 35. So let us see what was the value of these three items that is Rupees 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. 24 plus 35 is equal to 59. So I had a note of rupees 100 which I gave to the shopkeeper and he returned me. How much money he will return me? After cutting rupees 59? Yes, rupees 41 which means 100 minus 59 is equal to 41. Now we will solve some questions of exercise 4.2 given at page number 97 and 98. Now let us find the value of these currency notes. So 100 rupees, then a 50 rupee notes, 150 rupees, then a 20 rupee note. So, 170. The value of these currency notes is rupees 170. Here, the value of rupees is written on the paper. So, we will find the total sum of these values by using the currency notes. So, this is rupees 200. We will place a 200 rupee note. Then, rupees 50, a 50 rupees note. And rupees 20, a uh, 20 rupees notes. So now let us find the total value of these currency notes. 200, then a 50 rupee note that is 250. And a 20 rupees note that is 270. So the total value of these currency notes is rupees 270. I bought a pencil kit of rupees 150. So I had a 200 rupees note which I gave to the shopkeeper and after deducting rupees 150 he returned me a 50 rupee note. So now when we subtract 150 from 200 that is 200 minus 150 then in answer we get is equal to rupees 50. Tanisha had rupees 450 out of which she gave 200 rupees to her sister Jyoti. So Tanisha is now having rupees 250 that is 250 rupees. So now we have learned that if we subtract 200
400 from 450 rupees then we will get rupees 250 as answer so now you know that punjab achievement survey that is pass test is conducted every weekend so now we will solve one question of the punjab achievement survey so here is the question what is the sum of value of notes given below so we have to find the sum of value of these notes so here are the four answers given we will choose the correct answer so now count with me 100 150 170 180 190 195 197 and 198 so this is total rupees 198 so which answer is correct out of these c that is rupees 198 now hope you have understood how to solve question number 1 2 and 3 of exercise 4.2 now solve these questions in your notebooks thank you